Bonjourno. You always do something kind of weird at the start. Yeah, I do. It just feels boring to like, even though I'm not like a super like over the top YouTuber or yeah, something. Yeah, that's not like, you. I know, but the beginning just being like, hi. It's like, welcome back to another vlog. It just comes out, you know? Yep. Also, when I'm around Blake, I just get a little... Freaky? Yeah, hyper. I can tell. Yeah. Me and Blake together are like so crazy. We're in Goshen, New York, which is upstate. But I had somebody comment on an Instagram photo. Ooh, they shots said were that fired. we're downstate. We're downstate. Even in, Pond, in, in Port Jervis is downstate. Okay, we're in downstate New York. Apparently. Either way, we are an hour-ish and a half north of the city. That's in the woods a bit. To me. In the woods. But I'm not next. I think the state's just pretty big. It would take. Yeah, I don't who, even know. Who knows like, if it's bigger? I thought everybody referred to this as upstate. So. I don't know anything. Anyways. But yeah, we're here doing a little hometown date, a little bachelor moment, if you will, with Blake. Mm -hmm. Seeing our hometown, meeting our parents. Just kidding. We've met her parents before, but yeah. just solidifying the, the relationship you know like really checking out the town really oh, making our way town. in but blake and john are meeting their nephew right now for the first time Her, blake's brother just had a baby like a few weeks ago so we had to go do something we had to do a couple errands that we had to because we left the city and we had some stuff that we had to yeah so we ship had, back and stuff and then we had to find something else to do so yeah. i found this fleece on TikTok that we could go buy. Nice. Yeah. So the thing is, it's an H and M. Do we think she's? You're addicted to shopping. I mean, define addicted. Like. Like I could go a week without doing it. I'd like to see it. I've done it before. It's just like when things pop up. The problem is I shouldn't like go on social media then because I see things that people show me and I'm like, that's cute and I want it. Yep. And I want to win with you. But anyways, I don't know where the TikTok is because I don't think I saved it. But there's this fleece. Maybe my editor, what's this guy, could, well, they're gonna see it when could we find a there. picture no, of the Hailey Bieber picture. Oh, yeah. It's like a dupe for this fleece that Hailey Bieber was wearing that I think is like $900. Would you rather that I have my eye on that one? No. Okay. No. no, I wouldn't. So bless her. Bless. Yeah. So this girl, this sweet girl on TikTok showed us all a dupe for $60 at H&M. It sold out online everywhere, but I was like reading in the comments and a lot of people were like, oh, it's in store. She was like, oh, it's in store, blah, 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 blah. So did a little research and guess what? Sure enough. The mall that like Blake acts like where she's from is in the middle of nowhere, it which is. it is, is it? It definitely is. It's just so cute here. I love the east coast definitely and like, like the middle of nowhere this area we looked it up they have the fleece at this mall so it says so we're here now so we're gonna go check out a little h&m and we need to see if we can get it and it's really cute like I leave it to it. you to find the mall in the middle of nowhere leave it to beaver yeah. yeah i'm beaver you are beaver i'm beaver yeah you're miss beaver that's what we're gonna do and i'm excited because it's really cute hopefully they have it and they're not I'm not lying to. Yeah, I know. I'm nervous about that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my lipstick. You left it's it back, back at the place? Flakes, yeah. Oh. The other day when we were in, in the city, we went shopping in Sephora. I just had to do a little pop in. See? Well, because this is what happened, actually. I got my makeup done. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, but I got my makeup done while I was in New York. But it's really cute girl, Becca. And she used this Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury like under eye thing that made my under eyes look so good like the dark circles Which is the hardest thing to fix I feel like um, And I was obsessed with it So I was like I have to go to Sephora and get this and then she was also really good at like color matching foundation So she told me a foundation that I should get that's a good color match for me So I was like I have to get these things because the pro is telling me so I just went in there and then I did get a few other things because They were cool and I needed them so what happened? You're, 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 you're taking the longest route about way to explain. I got a lipstick and I went home and I opened up the lipstick and only the cap of the lipstick there was in there go. and the bottom wasn't. So I don't there have the lipstick. Go. So I was going to bring the lipstick today back to Sephora to exchange. There you go. Or get the right that's one. That's all we were wondering. Yeah. That's all we That's all we asked for. I didn't even have a matcha today if anyone's wondering. I'm just kidding. 
We didn't only ask for that. You're sassy. You didn't even have any matcha today? No, they don't have matchas in Goshen. I tried to order one. Blake is your matcha. Blake is my energy source right now. All right. So that is the long story about me being shopaholic. Let's go see what they got in H&M and hopefully they got your fleece. Yeah, I hope they do. And we have to buy another suitcase because we have oh, too much stuff. Oh, good call. Yeah, we were going to ship boxes home, but I think it's more it's so expensive, expensive to do yeah. that than to... So we're just going to add one suitcase. We just need to find suitcase. a really cheap suitcase. Add it to the traveling circus. And pack it full of stuff. The Galleria. The Goshen Galleria. Goshen Galley. Oh, good music. All right, we found the H&M. Let's see if we can find the fleece. I think we don't really shop H&M that much anymore. I know, but I actually got a request on YouTube to do an H&M haul. Oh, okay. Got nice little fleeces. Quarter zip? I love a quarter zip. Oh, quarter button. Mine is a quarter zip. Oh, yours is a quarter zip? I hope they have it. These are cute. Full zip. Oh, that's a full zip. That's like the old IMG Teddy. Yeah. There's more downstairs. These are cute boots. I like those. New York City, California. This is cute. This looks nice and warm. Okay, I'm not seeing her up here. Where is she? Hopefully she's downstairs. Oh yeah, there's a lot more downstairs it looks like. Here we go. What are we gonna wear in Chicago? We're going to Chicago next, guys. Spoiler alert. It's not a joke. Like it's gonna on be, this vlog, you guys are coming to Chicago. It's gonna be 58. Game time, 50 degrees. Uh-oh, man, I don't know. Is this the tween area? Because I don't think it's tween that you're looking for. Let's go. Wow, they got them all. I heard it runs small. Cute. So this is really an extra cute. small. Is it going to extra small or small? I kind of think it's small. Let's see, though. Hold that up. Hold it up. Let's see on you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to grab a that seems good. Do you want to try them on? Yeah. I actually don't like shopping though. Like I'm not a good in, I think I appreciate it. I'm not a good in-store shopper. This is small? Yeah. I think I could like get it even bigger. I didn't need it. I have to say this is quite cute. That jacket's cute. It's cute. I told you you're a problem. Because you look cute and everything. Stop it. Stop it. You want me to put it back? That's really cute actually. It's like a cute fit in size. Especially in those pants. Really? Yeah, I like it. It's probably because they want like, all three. All three. Yeah. I feel like you can make them really small. Okay, I think green, the green one is different. You have this one. And that's like the same as that one. Okay, the other thing is, do you like the green or do you like the black? I kind of like the green. Well, the green's nice. All right.
Can we be seated? You can be seated. You can all be seated. <laughs> Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. This is it. This is the princess of Bushi. This is her husband. Not by not by blood. How's your latte? It tastes like brown butter and sage. Oh. Yeah. Sage. Yeah. What's the other sage? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Look, I think there actually might be a yeah, wicket of sage in there. Oh, wicket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, That's a little. Great. It's a little. Uh, actually, kind of looks like a sardine. It does. I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> The shishito pepper. Yeah. Roll that up and smoke it. <laughs> do, you, do you guys ever, do you guys ever accidentally scream? I tell John all the time. Screaming. Our dad screams all the time. A Paul is in constant scream. Yeah. Like a fire alarm. Can't wait for my dad. I think that you get older, you get the top over your head so much that your voice just stays yeah. Stays peaked. Yeah. Stays peaked. That's a good observation. Yeah, Paul is peaking. Can't not listen. Can't not listen. That's Paul is at the peak. Hitting the bagel girls. Bagel girls. Look at this big league chew bat. It's kind of sick. A little baseball. Do you guys make all these cookies? <laughs> you can't say? <laughs> can't, can't say or deny. <laughs> Cannot confirm or deny. What one's your favorite? These two are good. S'mores, one s'mores, one's like thin mist. Those little chocolate ones are good. They're all good. Okay. Those do look nice. This is the bottom. Look at that beauty. Beauty and the beast. Dang. Hey. Hey. Chi Town, baby. Drinking some. Uh, oh, I just drank your tea. How is it? Pretty good. What kind is it? Peppermint. Mm. And something on peppermint, and I can't remember. But I was gonna say, there's something about that hotel lobby coffee. Yeah. It's diffy. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way. Really? It's like comfort coffee, you know? Yeah. You know, like diner coffee. I love it. Like it's the diner black coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now the battery's at half. So. Oh my god. I told you it lies. We don't have a battery here. Not have much battery, so we're gonna vlog a bit on the camera today, and then probably have to take it to the iPhone because I left the charger somewhere in the state of New York. Could be upstate, downstate, New York City. But I just woke up to some dinging and donging because the the boats are coming through the the river here in Chi Town. Don't see this every day. Road flipped on its side. Boats in the water. This is really neat though. This is a cool river. Oh, I'm having chest pains right now. This is some minor chest pains. Oh yeah. Of course, how could I forget? Today, I'm gonna go get the queen herself. Today, the actual day is... 10 year anniversary. 10 years. I love you. I love you. Can't believe it. I know. That's actually so insane. Yeah. Time flies by. I think Oh my god, it's really crazy. I feel like the last four have just been flying by too. Yeah. But yeah, today's our ten year anniversary. Can you guys believe it? So that is We've been together since we were twenty. Twenty. Now we're thirty. Oh my 30. god. Whoa, <laughs> shit, stop, stop. We've been through so many like eras yeah. and growth. Like, kind of like Taylor Swift. We've been through like all of Taylor Swift's albums. 
We were such babies like when we started dating. Today we're going to a Raiders game and I have been a Raiders fan for my whole life so is Clayton. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure we've told you guys that before yeah. but I, my dad and my brother are huge Raiders fans so growing up I kind of just like adopted that from them and then Clayton's from the Bay Area so it makes sense so like we've always been Raiders fans mm -hmm. together which is cute. Actually the first I birthday, tell them uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the first birthday present Delaney ever got me was Okay, I'm having weird chest pain today. Because your heart is just like, like. <laughs> 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 oh, it's I okay. Love, I it's love. okay. Um, the first birthday present Delaney ever got me in a relationship was mm -hmm. for Clayton's twenty-first birthday. I got him Raiders tickets. Yeah, it was the first Raiders game we either of us had ever yeah. been to. Yeah, yeah. We, my parents just didn't take me growing up. Um, we went to baseball games a lot, but we never made it to Raider games. Yeah. So, so Delaney that was took, really me, fun. took me to my first one, actually. Yeah. And then when we lived in the Bay Area, we had season tickets to the Raiders, which was really fun. So, we've been so to fun. like a lot of Raiders games. But this is some iconic games, too. Yeah. It's like one of our favorite dates. The only thing I don't like, like about going to like pretty much any sporting event which I don't know how it's going to be here, but just a lot of the ins and outs. cities and places, yeah, the ins and outs are like super crazy. Like when we used to go in the Bay Area, we would take BART and it was just like, I hated that. Like, it was just kind of a shit show. Going in wasn't as bad, but going Always out was like Always leaving because everybody, everybody leaves at the same time. Yeah, I didn't like that. It would like make me feel I know, it just kind of, kind of it, it does kind of suck. I mean, it's just 70,000 people leaving a place at the same time. Yeah. So. I should almost just like stay. You either stay long or leave early. Yeah. Maybe How stay long, long can you stay after? You know, like when we're at the hockey games, they start coming around and kicking you out. Yeah. Yeah. Hockey games are chiller because there's less people. Yeah. No, football games are the worst. Fun. Football games are actually the worst because it's the most people. Yeah. So that part is not my favorite, but I love like being there and just like everybody's pretty happy there. Like it's pretty good mm -hmm. vibes. I also love Raiders fans. Like fellow Raiders fans are just such a mm -hmm. vibe. Like. Yeah. I loved when we had season tickets, that was fun. That and just like fun. getting a beer or some like game food. Yeah. I don't know, it's just like, we love that vibe, so. So you're actually really excited for this to be on our anniversary, it sounds like. Mostly because you love it Aww. so much. You deserve it. Love you. Princess treatment for you today. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> I mean, we were we wouldn't probably it wasn't do this like on planned, our anniversary, but really. like, this was just an opportunity to go to the game. Yeah, because we're meeting up be on uh, our anniversary. Yeah, because we're meeting up with Shaughnessy and Brady, who are two of our very good friends. They live in Illinois. They're also Raiders fans. Yeah. We've always wanted to go to a Raiders game together with them. And the one that was in Chicago, so it was like close for them, and we were already going to be in New York, happened to be on our anniversary. So that's kind of where it fell. But in a roundabout way, I do love that. It is kind of cute. Yeah. Like, yeah, and especially because like you, it's like. It's kind of more your thing. It's it's our thing, but it's I don't like know, you were it's just a nice talking little, like really it's high. A nice little <sighs> present for you. <laughs> you were talking really high about it. I do like it. It's not like you don't have to twist my arm to do it. No, that's good. But it's not that's like sweet. traditionally romantic, I guess. Which yeah. we don't have to do stuff like that on our anniversary either, because like we do that kind of stuff a lot. Anyway. Yeah, and I'm not like super but, particular about that. But uh. We are here for two more nights, tonight and tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night we're going to go to dinner and maybe spend a little bit more time uh, yeah. celebrating romanticizing. and romanticizing. Yeah. I, I feel like with any sort of, except for like Christmas or Halloween, no, Halloween doesn't apply. Like Christmas pretty much is the only one. But everything else, like birthdays, anniversaries, even Halloween, we kind of just celebrate them like when it's convenient. It doesn't have to be on the exact date. Yeah. Like, the Halloween this year is on a Tuesday, so I think we're doing something on a Saturday. Like, we'll probably dress up yeah. then, and, like, that doesn't bother me. And, like, if your birthday was, like, on a Wednesday or something, like, I'm down to go on a Friday and celebrate. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... So we're kind of just celebrating for yeah. this period slash when it's convenient. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you gotta do it sometimes. Even, like, people probably do that uh, with their jobs or... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Christmas I, I is the only question. one I feel like is on Christmas. I have a question. You already asked me to marry you. What? I did? What is Let me it? see that rock. Rocks. Let me see those rocks. <laughs> After 10 years of being together. Yeah. And in a relationship with someone. Yeah. 
what would be, what is the most profound thing you learned about relationships? Mm. Not about me. Right. About Just about relationships. relationships. Um. And being with someone for the long haul. Yeah. Well, I'm on the spot, so it's not going to be like that good. Probably. You want to come back later? You no. come back later? No, 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 no. But I just think that, like, you know, when people say, like, when you get married, or like my grandparents, or people, or your parents, like, people have been together for like 60 years or 40 years or whatever for so long, you know? Like, everybody says it's not easy. And I do agree with that. Like, it's not. Like, I love you so much, and I think that we're perfect together, and we have so much fun together, and we're, like, a really good couple. We're really good for each other, but that doesn't mean it's easy, right? And I feel like it's, like, important that people don't sugarcoat that because then when someone is in, like, a relationship and they're like, well, this is hard, so, like, this isn't the right relationship or something, that's the wrong idea, right? Yeah. So, like, hard is different than toxic. And our relationship isn't toxic, but there's been times where it's hard, like if I'm super stressed out or if I'm sad or if you're super stressed out or you're sad or whatever, you have to like come over to that, to your person's side. And that's like a lot of work sometimes. Yeah. Cause you could be like, well, I'm not yeah, sad. Yeah. I'm not stressed out. So I don't want to like come over there. Right. What's that like word that is- Compromise? Not compromise. It's like, you give up yourself a lot, like you have to, uh, what's that word? Um, sacrifice? Sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, sacrificing and... Yeah. yeah. And I think, like, what I mean by that is just a lot of communication and, like, hard communication. So instead of when things get hard, like, wanting to leave or wanting to give up, you have to, like, work through it. Mm -hmm. Which is hard, because sometimes we speak different languages. Yep. Like... But well, we for the most part, like our foundation is the same, our values are the same, and everything that we want is the same, and we've like grown in the same direction from 20 to 30, which is like crazy to think about because those are super like pivotal years that could have gone way differently, I feel like, yeah. if we hadn't grown in the same direction. For sure. But then there's still times in our lives where it's like we're just speaking different languages and you have to just figure out how to like communicate with each other and understand each other so that you can like show up better for each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I feel like it's just worth putting in the work, you know? Yeah. And like, yeah, I think a 10 year relationship, like, Something that I've learned that I think is super important is not to like Settle or get set in patterns or ways like if you start to see things that you're not liking How they're going because you get like too comfortable or right. Just like in bad patterns. It's like important to redirect and be like yeah. hey We need to like work on this which is something that we do all the yeah. time where we'll be like hey we just notice like you know, we're not we're like sitting on the couch scrolling on our phones or looking at the TV, like let's make more time to just like connect and talk yeah. to each other or like whatever it will be. But it's just, I think really important yeah. to like be able to look at your relationship and mm -hmm. kind of like criticize evaluate, or like evaluate uh, it. What is that? Constructive criticism. Yeah. And well, just I like look at it. I think it's uh, I think it's okay in a relationship to understand that you can uh, like work on it pretty much. Yeah. Like you don't just need to be like, okay, we're married now or we're engaged now and yeah. okay, we're just going to all do what we want. Right. Like you have to be able to communicate and be like, I don't like that. Right. And it's not like a, I don't like it. Like, no. It's just like, hey, why don't we do this? Yeah. And like, I think it'd be better for us. I think it'd be healthier for us or. Exactly. Yeah, because. You know, like lifestyle wise or like, yeah. pers like communication, like everything, mm -hmm. like be anything. Especially like being together for so long. I feel like it's really easy to get into like patterns or just Defaults and then you could like wake up one day and be like wait I'm looking at this and this might not be like the healthiest thing for us Like we should work on this a little bit and we're both open to that and down for that And I feel like that is a secret sauce to like keeping your relationship alive for decades and decades You know because even like we spend so much time together and especially when the pandemic happened and stuff It was like literally can't see anyone else and then a little bit after that, we're like, wait, we are not spending time with other people at all. And maybe that's not good for us. Like we have to look at our relationship and be like, okay, let's create some depend independence yeah. here. Yeah. And just like little well, things like that. 
Okay, the camera's gonna die. But those are some thoughts I'm being together like for it. 10 years. Oh my god, my eyelashes are sticking. And hopefully, 100, 100 more. more. So, maybe love 100, you. 130. Ooh. Love you. Love you. Dinner. It was yesterday. Yeah. But we're celebrating tonight. Yes. Clean plans. A little date night. I don't know where we're going. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I heard the name, but obviously, like, I don't know anything in Chicago. So, so we're gonna go do that. We're like a little dressed up. I'll show you guys it. Yeah, your dress is so cute. It's a uh, I'll show you guys over here. Whoa, babe. <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> it is. Sometimes it just looks like your butt's out. It's not though. It's just my upper leg. Upper thigh. I mean, I don't really care anyways. I don't. Um There you go. We don't care. Just scared. Okay, but yeah, I'm wearing this dress that I've had for a while. It's from Revolve. I think it's actually pretty affordable. I think it's from Super Down. It's nice and modest. Oh, it's that one. Up at the top. We've had that for a long time. It's turtleneck. And then BAM! Bam. Um and then I'm wearing it with my favorite boots. These are from Express like a year or two ago. Um, I think I have similar ones linked on my LTK if you guys are looking for some. And then this is our thrifted shared Burberry jacket. This is nice because I can cover up my leg while I'm walking. True. Ah. And then my earrings. This is unhinged. My earrings, look at my sideburn. I just don't know what to do with my sideburns. Remember when I shaved them off, you guys? Like, why are they still like down there like that? Like, I haven't shaved them in years. And that's just like, as long as that grows, it's you like- You always shave them off. What the hell? I, I know. About that. You haven't done it in a long time. I know. Um, but my earrings, anyways, are from Orium. And then I'm wearing my new Celine perfume. And for the purse, I might bring my little Gucci bag, I think. The little tan one. I don't know where it is. Show us your outfit, King. Just wearing my trousers, guys. We just like don't have a lot of clothes right now. Just got my trousers on. You look nice. A little gray shirt. And this Abercrombie green jacket I've been wearing. You look handsome. Thanks, babe. Thanks, you look beautiful. Absolutely stunning. We're talking a lot of accents right now. Yeah, we're just bouncing around. I've um, been working on my Australian accent a lot. Clayton really doesn't like that one. It's really good. It's really hard to do. I'm messing it up right now, but yeah. It's really good though, babe. You're very talented. You don't like it when I talk in it. I don't know why. I do. I think it's just, like New Zealand. You just do it for a long time. Yeah, because I'm working. <laughs> I messed up. You go for too long. That's the only way to get it, baby. Too long, too far. Taking it too far. Yeah, the Raiders game. Oh, um, yeah, update yesterday. on that. Obviously, the Raiders suck, okay? Raiders Nobody suck. has to tell us that. Like, Flew all the way to no. Chicago to watch a blowout. It's on brand, you know? It's on brand. 20 years of torture. Yeah. 
well, 30 years. It's okay. Ago. It was so fun. Our seats were so good. Yeah, cool And the stadium. view was amazing. Yeah, the stadium was so cool. You could, like, see the buildings in the mm -hmm. stadium, like the skyscrapers. I thought that was so cool. The weather was beautiful. The weather was perfect. We got to hang out with friends. Yeah. The only thing we didn't get was a W from the team. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And next week. Maybe. Yeah, we hung out with uh, Shaughnessy and Brady for the last 36-ish hours or so. Yes, they showed us around because they don't live too far from Chicago, so they like know a lot more about it, obviously, than us. Yeah. Um, and they really like it up here, so that was fun to have them show us around, and we just like nice. had a good time with them. They're both like the nicest people ever, so that was fun and good. We don't get to see them that often because they live far away. And my vlog battery was supposed to get delivered today. Mm -hmm. And it says it got delivered, but nobody can find the package. So yeah. we ended up not really even vlogging that much because our normal camera was dead. Yeah. So it kind but, of throws us off a bit. Yeah. We definitely do want to come back to Chicago, though. Like, we're pretty obsessed from yeah. just, like, the small amount of time we spent here. It's so clean. It's so pretty. Everyone's really nice. Um, would never come in the winter, I will say. Never. Probably. But I want to come back in, like, the summer or the spring of Probably not the spring, probably summer or fall. Yeah. For like a longer period of time and like do stuff. We were just kind of like chaotic this time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we really like it. So we'll be back. And so many of you guys on Instagram live in Chicago. So I know you have really good recs and we need them. Yeah, we, we need, need the recs. Next time we gotta come back with full of recs. Game plan. Game plan. Yeah. That like keeps I wanna, that's weird. I wanna come back for go to a Cubs game, go to Wrigley. Alright, I wanna go film a TikTok. When Lock me back. up, Daddy. Lock me up. I'm feeling a little bit slave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>